hi guys welcome back to my channel it's a girl osla so today um we're going to be making a very wonderful dish that's um onubu soup bitter leaf soup yes yeah, so let's get right into the video yeah if you're just a new subscriber or you see my video for the first time you're highly welcome as well okay so we're going to be listing the ingredients we have our goat's meat we have our stock fish and dry fish then this is the smoked fish i don't i don't cook anything without my smoked fish <laughs> my crayfish my shaki yeah and then this is the bitter leaf or onobu leaf then my cocoa i'm using about eight pieces then we have our fresh pepper ogiri bowl it has to be ogiri bowl please okay then I prefer to use no maki for my soup. Then Cameroon pepper. Then this is my onion powder. Please, I didn't say onion, the powder. Just for spicing out the meat, please. Don't use fresh onions so. oh. Then this is my palm kernel paste. I prefer to use this. I feel it gives out a better taste than using just normal palm oil. Then this is the ginger and garlic ground for just seasoning my meat okay then my salt to taste yeah and then we are going to be using pando potato okay so now we're going to be boiling the cocoa yam first then as it's boiling we'll blend the crayfish and the pepper yeah we just blend it we don't want it to be so smooth just blend it for a while and then you switch the when it's still rough like i don't want it to be as smooth as anything you blend it and then you set it aside yes so it's almost blended to the way i want it So the next thing is for me to put my shaki into the pot and then start spicing it up. I prefer to start boiling the shaki first because most times it takes a longer time to boil before I put in the goat meat. So I'm just spicing it out a little bit. Yeah, then I'm adding the crayfish and the pepper spice to it. So you just allow it to boil for about 25 minutes thereabouts just be checking it frequently yeah then the bitter leaf i already washed it out properly so now i'm going to boil it to remove that bitter taste yeah i'm checking it the shaki is done you can see that it's coiling up a little bit so that means it's almost you know soft so i can now start adding my goat meat to boil with it and while i'm adding i don't really need to spice it out too much because i've already added the spice in, in the shaki when i was about to boil it so now just add the goat meat to it this goat meat is plain to you <laughs> boiling yeah so i'm just adding the remaining pepper and crayfish blend now so you could just boil together with it you can also rinse off the remaining crayfish in the blender so that everything will just you know instead of adding extra water so now i peeled my cocoa yam and then i put inside the blender you can choose to use um a mortar and pistol but this is what i had available so this is what i use so far as it gives you that smooth paste that you want you're good to go and you have to use a very good blender or food processor don't use this um, bad ones it won't blend it properly and it could overpower it and then spoil your blender So I think it's it's blended now properly the way I want it. So you just set it aside. 
so now i think our meat is getting done now. it's getting done or it's done even Okay, so now it's time to add our fish, our stock fish. I washed it properly and then cleaned it, removed the bones and all. So now it's time to add it and then allow it to boil. So now we're adding the cocoyan paste into the pot as well. So it could also start to boil and melt. So you just add it like around the surface of the pot. You don't need to pour it into one particular piece. Yeah, so next thing is to add in my ogiribo. I'll be adding two of the wraps of the ogiribo into the meal. This is the perfect time for me to add it because at this point you allow it to boil properly together with the food it helps with bringing out the taste of the food it's a noob without ogiri but is that one or no? <laughs> so next thing i'll be adding the palm canel paste i prefer to actually use palm canel paste because it gives this very wonderful flavor you know when you use it for your soups instead of using palm oil yeah so that's why I prefer to use it. Yeah, allow it to cook for about 15 minutes. Yes, yeah, so now um, you check it at intervals to know if the kukoyama has dissolved. Normally, you don't need to mix it by yourself, you just check. If it has dissolved if it's not dissolved just allow it you're supposed to know the consistency of the soup that you want right so now I'll just be adding a little bit of the Cameroon pepper just to improve the taste yeah and trust me at this point hey, the aroma was something else ah. okay so we're adding no cubes to taste I told you I prefer to use no cubes for making my soup So I'm checking if it has melted. If it has not melted and you feel like you're okay with the consistency, you can just take out the excess cocoyam. You do not have to turn it, just allow it to boil on its own and dissolve. Yeah, and I think it looks well melted now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's okay. I'll just check for the consistency if it's okay and i think this is fine i don't want it to be so thick because you know these things once it cools off it's going to take in more than this so i think this consistency is super super okay oh, this looks so beautiful so next thing i'm adding my bitter leaf um, i washed it properly it was freshly plucked and I washed it and then uh, I also had to boil it to also ensure that it's completely not bitter again. So you add it, you don't need to turn, you just cover the pot and allow it to boil. Okay, so I think it's done. Yes, then I'm adding my washed smoked fish. I prefer to add smoked fish at the end because you know smoked fish can actually melt and dissolve you know so if you add it in the beginning it might just scatter in the soup you will not be looking for the smoked fish that you now put in the soup I prefer to add it at the end so that at least when I'm eating I can still be able to pick some smoked fish and eat who loves smoked fish like I do please yeah so this soup is done you know. it's done you know. where's your plate though where's your plate though are you getting your tummy ready <laughs> I think it's, it's it's actually really ready now. Mm -hmm. Wow, the beauty! Oh, 
for the beauty of oh. Yummy, 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 yummy. So you can see that it's thickening because it's cooling little by little. Yeah, so I think this is super, super okay for me now. Um, I know this is a very challenging soup for people to make, so just in case you have some questions, you do not really get clearly what I explained in the whole recipe for this soup, please do not forget to ask your questions in the comment section okay okay so now i'm boiling my water for my pando potato can't wait to eat this food though so basically yeah you just add the hot water and then you add the pando into it and then you just stir. you don't need to boil it so you just add it and then you keep turning. tell me that my spot is looking horrible <laughs> because i also want to get at this point and what's 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 a good meal without a, a nice drink to wash it down you know let's check out that meat and the fish <laughs> yeah so that's basically it i hope you guys enjoyed this video um please give me some thumbs up make a comment um Share this video subscribe if you've not subscribed to this video subscribe subscribe enjoy your meal okay bye